the core of the issue, of course, is trust. And if we I'm don't... Fine. That's my phone. That's Siri listening on an iPhone. Sorry, in your contacts. Do you have another name or number for me? That's the iPhone, not Huawei, right? That's, that's not Huawei. <laughs> if you use a Huawei, you will not be troubled by Siri. <laughs> I'm James Chow. You're watching the Pacific Dialogue, which brings you the US and China unscripted. And in a humble way, we try to gather the key people with the important conversations and new ideas at this critical point in human history. I'm delighted to have on the program today, Major General Yao Yunzhu, retired from the People's Liberation Army, and also Admiral William Owens, a four-star US Navy veteran and a former vice chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. I mean, what are the ways do we look forward in? I mean, we, we talk about the pragmatic approach that General Yao is advocating for. She said it's not possible. But I think that the United States and China are proof in recent history that you can do anything in the middle of a Cold War, no less. As hard as it has gotten because of the policies of both countries, and 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 I think it's both countries. It's not it's not the Chinese are uh, taking advantage of us in the United States, and it's not that the United States is taking advantage. But we need to enter this as human beings, as General Yao and I would, to uh, discuss these things to laugh about some things, but to be very serious about resolving some things that really matter. I'm sure the solutions are there. The United States is not perfect, for sure. Uh, we have a lot of our issues, and I suspect that China is not perfect, for sure. But we are great countries, and no one has made human beings better off in the history of mankind than your country, General Yao. And, and uh, the United States has stood for many principles that really matter to the world. And my experience with, with talking with the Chinese is that we have a lot in common and we can solve almost any issue together. General Yao, what do you think? So to your question that how the Chinese PRA view the, uh, its American counterpart, or, or how, how, how do I view the, I think the, the views change with circumstances. Back in the 1970s, the, the perception of the Chinese, of the US military is a uh, defense partner, uh, in a common fight against the former Soviet Union. And we cooperated very well at that time. Even, even China, uh, the, the PRA is very weak and kind of backward compared with the United States military. Uh, we had many cooperative interactions. We have many cooperations. We worked together and then, uh, in starting from the 1990s, uh, the views become complicated. Uh, the, the rise of tension over the Taiwan Strait and also the political hype in the United States about Chinese military stealing uh, military secrets, uh, spying on the United States, things like quite somewhat like Today, the U.S. Congress passed laws uh, limiting the uh, exchange between the two militaries. And uh, so the, I think the PRA, uh, even if it still wants to learn, wants to cooperate with the United States military. I mean, what do you think about this current climate around Huawei and other tech, tech tensions that we're all very well aware of. What do you think about the various national security and cybersecurity restrictions brought in by Chinese companies, by the US authorities? So I am a great believer in free trade. 
And I think free trade is a very important concept. I believe that it may take years, but one of the things that I and another great um, person who, American, who has thought about China for years, we agree, Hank Greenberg and I, agree that a free trade zone between the United States and China is a good idea. And now that's pretty contentious. You, you want to hear what I think about Huawei. I was the CEO of Nortel at one time. Nortel was at one time a Fortune 100 company. We were building networks in China a lot. And I knew Ren Zhengfei well at Huawei. Uh, there has to be a solution that is good for everyone, in my view. Uh, this is not a popular thing to say in Washington, D.C., but I believe that there are ways for us to be sure of the security that we want to have. And we have had more than 40 years of cooperation after China's opening up and reform. And... Uh, this, the, the, I, I don't think that anyone, neither in the United States, either in the United States or in China, can change this, the, the fact that the huge amount of benefits of good that had been produced from the better relation, from a, a good relationship of the, of the two countries can be erased all of a sudden. But anyway, we have to find uh, uh, ways, new approaches, new frameworks to stabilize our relationship, to make it workable, to make it competitive and also cooperative. And people like Admiral Owens and many in the United States and China who believe in a better relationship of our two countries should work together to make it happen. It's important for us, not only for our two countries, but for the world at large.